Hello, everybody. Anthony, Gabriel, Seven Baskets Financial. Hello. Welcome aboard. Hope everyone's having a good morning, a good day, wherever part of the world you are from. Good evening, good afternoon. All right, we're just giving a couple more minutes for people to come on right now. Can you guys hear me okay? Is this frozen? Anybody still there? Nick Hill, hello. Bye, sir. Heather, hello. Good morning. Good morning. God bless. Okay, everybody's coming on now. Derek, what's up, brother Derek? We're here. All right. It all it, it scared me for about a moment. Like nobody was coming on, and it had seven people, then five. I'm like, <clears throat> sometimes I it scared me in the sense that maybe I hit the wrong button. I didn't do the live right. But uh, Yvonne, here you find awesome. April, JK, hello. Hi, not frozen. Good. Joy, hello. BT. Anthony, Danny from Canada, eh? Joy from Italy. Hey, Joy. <clears throat> Walter, God bless you. Emmanuel, shalom. E Flipper, hello. Kathy. Abimbola, Janet. Hello, hello. PM, where you are. All right. <clears throat> Erica, hello. BT, Prince, hello, hello. God bless you all. Got 36 on here within a minute and a half. People are coming on now, so that's good. Joy, brother, long crypto. <laughs> well, the market's still going up and down a lot, isn't it? But we know what we hold, and we know God is going to do it in his time, but we're heading in that direction. All right, just wait for a couple more to come on over here. I put a little schedule together to help to help some of us when I plan on coming on live. I just want to share that with you guys. I just want to wait for some more people to come on. Um, uh, Brother Danny, Pastor Greg, you've been doing the work of the ministry for a long time, and now the title of pastor has come, so you are in divine order, sir. Thank you, Brother Danny. God bless you. Thank you for that word. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it, it, uh, whoo, I can't tell you what a, you know, what a blessing, um, you know, I've for years been doing the work of the Lord, like, like many of you. And, um, I said, like, you know, coming to Texas, the church is awesome. We're getting involved in ministry. Um, we're helping lead the discipleship program now. And there's lots of opportunities here, but it's like, okay, God, but, I left the mold business, remediation business in New York. I can't get that going here. Nothing is opening up financially. Jobs, my wife and I put out resumes, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I'm like, okay, Lord, you know, I'm casting my bread on the waters. I feel like we're down here for ministry. But, you know, as far as any opportunity to, to, to get paid in it, just, you know, nothing was going on. So, I'm, you know, and, uh, you know, as a father, as you know, having a family as a provider, this is a huge piece that's missing. And, you know, God telling me a couple of days ago, I want you to pastor on this channel. I'm going to bless you. And, you know, I'm totally trusting in God. Um, I know many of you have a church and have pastors, you know, and, and pay your tithes to your church. You know what I'm saying? But many of you consider this your church. And many of you already have put in offerings. And I thank God for that. And it's it's just God validating his word to me. And then I had that phone call, you know, by an evangelist saying, Pastor Greg, he goes, I was only, I'm only calling you to call you Pastor Greg, like right after the Lord told me that. So anyhow, I'm excited about that. And we got a great church on here. And I'm super, super thankful. Um, you know, we've been having over 100 people on here. That's a good size church. You know, found out yesterday the average church in the United States of America is 80 people. The average, and for the Pentecostal church, which I'm, I'm part of a Pentecostal church, 
it's 84 people. So some days we're double that. We're double that. And I thank God for that. It's not about numbers. But what that tells me is that God is in this. God is in this. M. Garcia, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, April, praise Yahweh. My taxes are done. Amen. 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 BT, are you on LinkedIn? LinkedIn's a good platform for work. You know, I haven't been on LinkedIn in a while, but I was doing Indeed and, and you know, uh, that platform looking for work. But Justin, I was praying for a spirit pastor for some time, and I feel like my prayers were answered with this group. God bless you, Pastor Justin. Awesome. So awesome to have you on here, Justin. Praise God. How Psalm said, I'll be in and out today. All right, no problem. Pat, yes, I understand what you're saying, a spirit-filled pastor. I'm definitely, uh, God has filled me with his spirit in 2005, and I thank God for that every day. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. The Bible says his spirit will lead us and guide us in all truth. So anyhow, getting organized over here, taking this seriously. This is my highest calling, and I feel God has been telling me that I'm going to be working for him and and. Here we are. Don't despise the day of small beginnings, the Bible says. Um, but, you know, even looking at this YouTube channel, it started out as well, Transfer Crypto, Sharing Dreams. Um, really from when I, I, I did, I, I did like two ministry videos in like June. Just just to put it out there, nothing. I don't even think I got any subscribers or anything. But it was it was February of 2023. So we just hit a year that I really started uploading videos and really looking at this. Okay, God wants me to do this. And, you know, we broke 6,000 subscribers a few weeks ago. And for that to happen, that tells me God is in this. I don't think my content's good enough. I don't think I'm a, you know, a good enough speaker or, or I have enough in my own to do that. And which is great, which is great because I, I, I need to know God is in this. Because I only want to be in it if God is in it, all right? So with God, we can do all things. How many have tried to do things without God? How many of you tried to kick down doors to no avail? I was doing a little bit of that trying to find work in Texas. Nothing, nothing. There's like hitting a brick wall, hitting a brick wall to God set me up here. And he said, okay, I want you to take this position on YouTube. And you're going to start out here. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for all of you guys, the Telegram group. See, I see 7-7 seven, seven on here too. God is in it. God is validating. God is confirming. We're, ha we're having answered prayers. And the Telegram group is awesome. And uh, I've just been popping in and out. But it's I'm so thankful seeing all of you communicate on there. And, um, you know, prayer requests. We got Special se session for intercessors is opened up for everybody. Inter yes, there are people that really flow in the gift of intercession. I want you in there. I want you. People say, well, sign me up. Just go in there and put your name down. You're signed up because I'm going to pray. I'm, I'm praying over the intercessors and, you know, God's called me into intercessory prayer. But if you're a prayer warrior, everybody can intercede. If you have the Holy Spirit, what does Romans say? Um he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the spirit and makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. When we're praying in the Holy Ghost, sometimes we don't know what we're saying, but we're making intercession for the saints according to the will of God. You're praying in the will of God when you're praying in the Holy Ghost. So I encourage everybody on here to pray in the Holy Ghost. If you haven't yet, we're going to help you because I believe it's for everybody, for everybody. I would that all of you pray. In tongues, Paul said, you know, so, um, you know, Paul says to pray in the Holy Ghost always, right? JK, hello, Margaret, hello. God bless you. Um, CD, hello. 15, 59 million ship for the church for one he's having, for the one he's having. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. Yep. Could be, CD, could be. Um that was a word that I got 50 to 60 million ship for the church, but guys, we're, this is a worldwide church and uh, you know, I'm part of the church in Texas. I'm, you know, you guys are part of churches in your local town, some of you, and you know, we're, we're going to, we're going to help everybody. I'm, my vision and expanse is, you know, God is opening up my, my vision. I should say he's expanding my vision. So um, 
Amen. Let me just read a couple more questions. So I was I was just speaking about praying. Okay, so go, going back to the Telegram page, um, you know, so if you are committed to pray, to pray for this for this body, this is a this is a church body. Um, please just put your name down, and I ask. Even Paul says I made mention of you frequently, meaning even if you just go in there, he, you know, you might have time to say, you know, we we lift up. I don't have a name of this, but prophetic inside child, the church on there. I lift it up, cover it, Lord, bless it. However you feel, even if it's just a quick prayer, just we want your covering upon all of us, our families. Of course, God's blessing, advancement, growth, transformation. Um, all right, let me let me let me copy the telegram again and let me put it on here so so everybody could join that. So just give me one second to do that. I guess I'll frequently put it up here so everybody could join. I want everybody to join the Telegram group. Um, it really blesses me seeing everybody communicate on there. Hey, old rounder, bro, God bless you. It really blesses me. Hey, brother Barry, God bless you. Anthony, God bless you. Um, C.D. Watson thinking the same thing. Amen. Amen. Let's go, Sheba. Yes, yes, yes. Praise God. Monique, yes, thank you for joining the Telegram group. Awesome, 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 guys. So hope everybody's liking that on there. You know, um, there's a bot on there, and I got I know it could be annoying. Um, Brother Brad is the, the computer genius, so shout out to Brother Brad. But he said, you know, the bot, anybody comes on there and is just cursing, or it's supposed to be for cursing or just, you know, basically just coming on there being rude, it will kick them off, which is good. We want that. <laughs> but I know it's it's a little, we're, we're still working it out, okay? We're, we're working it out, um, you know, the quirks and stuff with it. So just give us a little bit of time with that. Um, but praise God. BT, I had an experience that I believe was from God, was told that we were entering a period of prosperity, followed by a time of lack. You know, the, God, the the Lord said he was pouring out his prosperity. I got I got that word this morning. He's pouring it out. And you know, it, it's like it's it's a shame that sometimes we gotta like I it's even in the back of my mind when I speak the word prosperity, because I'm I'm the opposite of a of these prosperity tele televangelists, you know, that oh, you know, sow this and God's going to give it. Yeah, God does bless you when you sow. You cannot give God, right? You cannot give God. But our job is to preach the gospel and make disciples. The gospel will cause you to prosper. They just focus on money. It will cause you to prosper because you're going to become a better steward. The favor of God is upon you when you walk in obedience. So it's going to cause you to prosper financially. But it, but so much more than that, it causes you to prosper in your marriage in your ministry, in your life. It's it's the, the, the greatest prosperity of the gospel is a, is a transformed life. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord, which is your reasonable service. It is your reasonable service to present your body as a living sacrifice. What does that mean, a living sacrifice? Well, in the Old Testament, there were dead sacrifices. A living sacrifice, meaning we are alive unto God, but we're dead unto our will. We submit our will. You know what God is after? God is after our will. Why? Because it's the only thing that he gave that he will not contradict. He gave us the, the freedom to choose. People ask, well, if your God is all loving, why are there bad things happening in the world? I'll tell you why. Because God will not turn. He will never, he will never change his word. His word is forever settled in heaven. I feel the Holy Ghost here, so we'll just camp out here for a minute. And he gave us free will. And bad people making bad decisions sometimes hurts good people. If God will not step in to stop you from making a bad decision, and, or if, and, and vice versa, he's not going to step in and stop you from making a good decision. Now, he could help, you know, to the church, he he will convict us, right? Condemnations from the enemy. For there, therefore, there's no condemnation to them that are in Christ, that live after the spirit. For the spirit of, 
of, of life is the spirit of life in Christ, but the spirit of death in our carnal mind, in our carnal decisions in the flesh. If we walk after the flesh, uh, the Bible says we cannot please God. Our carnal mind, our natural mind is an enmity or an enemy to God. And that's this whole thing to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So he, the, so Paul is telling us in Romans 12 to present your body a living sacrifice, meaning in the Old Testament, they, 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 they provided sacrifices that went on that altar and they couldn't move. They were dead. But a living sacrifice, you know what that means? You could get off that altar if you want to. But you're saying, I'm, I'm a living sacrifice, meaning I am choosing to offer my life unto the Lord. So that he can use it. You know what the Bible, the, you know what the Bible calls us, really is calling us to be dead. To be dead to our, that's our calling. To be dead to ourselves, but alive unto Christ. For in him I live, I move, and I have my being. Jesus said, you know, to he that, um, you know, offers up his life will have everlasting life. Let me just read some comments on here. Amen, amen, amen. Let's see, let's see. Let me just read some of these comments. So, you know, the reality is, Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but it's Christ now that lives within me. So do we literally crucify? No, we don't literally crucifies us, but what he's saying is I'm crucifying this flesh. I'm crucifying its desires and what it wants to do because I'm, the Bible says we are, we are bought with a price. We are no longer our own. Therefore glorify God in your, in your body and your spirit, which are Christ's. He bought us at Calvary. He paid the price of our sin with his blood. Now he's just saying, let me work in you and through you. Praise God. That's our calling, to be conformed to the image of the Son of God. And the only way to do that is to offer our bodies, which is our reasonable service, as a living sacrifice unto God. That's the only way to go from victory to victory. And I tell you what, God says, you go and then I'll go. Draw nigh unto God and he'll draw nigh unto you. How many know I'll tell you what, I struggled the first year with the Holy Ghost. I struggled. I still had a little bit of, I was still dabbling with alcohol. God pretty much delivered me from drugs. I never cursed another, another curse word. You know, some people have those miracle conversions. I never cursed again, but I had trouble. You know, God sometimes will leave you with something to keep you on your knees, to teach you how to fight and to war. And I had to do that to get deliverance from alcoholism. Yes, ultimately it's God that does it, you know. Um, but you know, I didn't have that testimony. People get the Holy Ghost, they you know, they repent, get the Holy Ghost, turn their life over to God, and all of a sudden they pour out all their bottles of alcohol. That wasn't, you know, like they had just God rewired their brain immediately. God rewired my brain, I just never cursed again. But it was like this, he's like, I'm I'm gonna put you on your knees and, and you're gonna you're gonna war for a breakthrough. Um, you know, so coming to God, um let me just read a couple more scriptures on here. A couple more. Amen. The Lord revealed to me Amos 9.13, two days ago, drunk prayer in tongues. Amos 9.13, Margaret. Let's take a look at Amos 9.13 through 15. Behold, the days are coming, say the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the, tre the treader of grapes. Him who sows seed, the mountain shall drip with sweet wine and all the hills shall flow with it. That's a now word. That's a rain word. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Praise God. Thank you, Margaret. Amen. Amen. So, you know, going back to what I was saying before, presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. So going back to my, my, my train of thought was, how many know that, you know, you'll, 
being a two-way Christian is, is, is a greater struggle. You know, you're, you have one foot in the world, you have one foot in the church. And I remember how this felt because when I'm in church, I'm feeling guilty because I knew I just went out the night before and I was drinking alcohol and then, you know, getting drunk. And then I'm, and then I'm out in the world and I'm guilty because I know I shouldn't be out here anymore. God, you know, I, I've gave my life to Christ. So, but it's, you know, it's funny how God works because when I totally gave everything up. I gave up a whole bunch of friends. I ran away from a girlfriend I had for three years. Never even broke up with her. I did a Joseph. I just ran because I hit a crossroads. And I said, God, I'm either going back to the world or I'm going to serve you. And I just felt like, I'm like, I feel like you can't forgive me anymore. And I literally hurt because I did this about 15 times. I was willfully sinning. And I felt the Lord say, but I forgive you again. And I literally felt him hug me and I lost it. I said, I've never experienced love like that before. I, nobody has shown me, not my parents, nobody, not my best friends. And it is you I will serve for the rest of my life. And from that point, I was 2006. I've never looked back. I've never looked back. A month or two later, I met my wife and God bless me with my wife. And we're married about 16 years 16 years coming in June, I think might be 17 years. Hopefully she's not on this right now because I'm getting my timing wrong. <laughs> but the point is, it was like, wow, God, why didn't you show me that before? Once I surrendered it all, it got easier. Not that we don't have trials, but a weight was lifted off of me. I, you know, I remember that was my first, oh, God, why didn't you just show me this before? And God's like, nope, you first and then me. So wherever you are, maybe there's something I'm telling you you're struggling with. I don't know what it is, but God has me in this vein right now. I'm telling you, once you fully give that thing to God and surrender, you feel like you can't live without it. I felt like I couldn't hang out without a drink in my hand because for, I don't know, 15 years, I had to have a drink from when I was 12, 13 years old hanging out. I had to have a drink in my hand. It was a beer. It was something. And I felt like I couldn't hang out without that. It was so attached to me. And I didn't realize once I just gave it all to God, that this whole burden was lifted off my shoulders. And then, yes, it is easier when you're sold out than when you're one foot in the world, one foot in the church. This walk is not patty cake and bubble gum. It's not. It's you're going to have to get a backbone of steel. Yes, absolutely. But when you sell out, when you offer your body a living sacrifice, peace is going to come. Joy is going to come. Hope, it's just the way God did it. It's like, okay, when you're dead, you figure all those things will be gone. No, no, when you're dead to yourself, that's when peace is going to come flooding. And that's when joy is going to come. And that's when God says, I'm ready to use you. Hallelujah, praise God. There is just something that you get when you sell out. When you sell out to God, when you put it all on the line. My pastor would always say this, God is either God of all or he's not God at all. Or he, the Lord is either Lord of all or he's not Lord at all. Meaning if you're going to hold on to things, he's not truly your Lord. But when you give him everything and say, you're Lord of my life, you're Lord of everything, you're Lord of my finances, you're Lord of, of my time, you're Lord of my schedule. The Bible says in Amos, I think it's 3.3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? And you know how my revelation on that? If I'm watching something that the Lord doesn't agree with, I'm by default no longer walking with him. Can two walk together except they be in agreement? If I'm doing things, social activities, watching things that I shouldn't watch, that I know the Lord isn't in agreement with, then by default, I'm not walking with him. I know this is a tough word right now, but I'm in this flow right now. I don't know. So, all right, let me read some, let me just go through some comments on here, guys. I want to I want to reach out to everybody. Mm. Casey, huge blessing. I was stressing about where to move. God is working quickly this season. The eclipse this year will be huge. Amen. Casey, we pray God continue blessing, direction, and wisdom on your move in Jesus' name. Digital parent, I've been wondering in this crypto market that are considered gambling. I'm in it, but I've wondered that. So gambling, 
first off, the casino is set up for gambling. First off, gambling, part of, I think, the negativity to gambling, well, not all of it, right, because you could go get scratch-off tickets at 7-Eleven, but even just the casinos, the whole vibe, the whole the, the atmosphere. I mean, that's where prostitutes hang out. That's where drug dealers hang out because it's, there's a connection there. And that should tell you something. Where there's gambling, there's prostitutes, there's cocaine, there's alcohol. That's just one, just one snippet of that. But crypto, these are businesses that were invest that were where I don't know about you. I look into a lot of these companies. I read up on them. I'm not just taking a hundred dollars and saying, you know what? Gamble. I mean, I, I I guess you could hedge your betting and all that stuff, but you know, it's kind of like I'm just looking to make a quick buck. I'm just, you know what? You could treat crypto like gambling and then I'm going to say it's no good for you. If you're treating crypto like gambling, if there's some kind of spirit of gambling, then I'm going to say crypto is not good for you. But if you're looking at as a business, as an investment, a way to, you know, to, to grow, to advance. And there's a lot, this, we could go a lot deeper than that. Um, are you feeling conviction? Is the Holy Spirit convicting you about crypto? Then it might not be for everybody. But it's an investment. You could say investing in real estate is gambling because real estate, the bubble could pop. You know, I mean, you know, we could, we could go on and on with this, but that's a great question, Digital Parent. Great, great question. Thank you for that. Evie Geek, hello, bye, sir. I love when you preach like this. Thank you, bye, sir. Margaret, amen. Yeah, I feel myself just, that's me being what God's called me to be right there. So, you know, it's like when I first came on the wealth trench, you know, there's a lot of Christian community. It's like, all right, how much should I preach on? You know, I was just still trying to figure my way out on here, but God, God cemented it. So here we are. Praise God. Got a hundred on right now. Um, we are about to break through spring. Always follows winter. Terry, the truth seeker. Amen. 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 Seven baskets. Financial. I had a dream last night where our crypto was rising and my wife and I sold at three different places. First sum was 70K, 7 million, 77 million. We started to run to the street laughing and rejoicing. Wow. I see these sevens. It's just God's completion, God's perfect will. Amen. Amen. Ebony, God bless you. Truth seeks, I could feel it always gets darkest before dawn. Amen. CR, greetings. Sandy, good afternoon. God bless you. Barry said the Bible has has the Bible uh, has the Bible says seek first the kingdom of God and is righteous and all these things shall be added unto you. Love that scripture. I believe that's Matthew six thirty three. Amen. Amen. ATM sleep on a camp bed at parents' house, not knowing where to go. Anthony Casey, I am in a similar situation. All right, for all of you that are in a situation right now and you need God to move, you're displaced. You're in temporary places right now, either living financially. I just want to pray for everybody right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, I pray you touch Anthony, Casey, Kendo, and everybody that's just displaced right now and that needs a financial breakthrough, needs direction, needs living quarters, a place to rest their head and call home. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I lift them up right now. Lord, you are a way maker. I pray you make a way for them right now. You put people in their lives, divine connections. You will bless their finances. Lead them to the house, apartment, community that where you want them to be in your zip code, in your location, because that's where your blessings are. I pray that right now for them, you multiply peace and joy upon their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Hey, Brother Rick. Hi, everyone. Please pray for my sister-in-law, Nicole. Nicole has stage four brain cancer. She's suffering greatly. Many family members have given up hope. I have not. Much love to you, Rick. Amen. We're with you and we're not giving up hope neither. We lift up Nicole right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, whose report are we going to believe? We're going to believe your report. We bind that spirit 
of cancer in the name of Jesus Christ, every cancer cell in Jesus' name. And we cast it out of Nicole and we pray for divine healing in her brain and her entire body in Jesus' name. We lift this up before you now, Lord God. Touch Nicole, bring peace to her, bring strength to her, Lord God. We cast out the pain from her right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus' name. Ooh, let God be true in every man alive. Amen. Boo boo. Hi, Pastor. My name is Annie. Please pray for my niece, Alyssa, four years old. She's got eczema very seriously. She's itching it day and night. Still can't find a cure for her skin. All right, we're going to pray for Alyssa right now. We lift up four year old Alyssa right now. We bind that eczema in her body. Every spirit of infirmity, sickness, and disease, we bind it in her body and on our skin right now and cast it out in the name of Jesus. We lose the healing virtue upon Alyssa now of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Let the balm of Gilead touch her right now in her skin in Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus, Jesus, praise God. Amen, Casey. Amen, amen. You know what, guys? I should have, I'm going to, oh, I got to go over and schedule with you guys too. But I'm going to try to go on StreamYard too because StreamYard's cool because I could put, I can't see as many comments as at once, but I could put the comments up on the screen. And I'd like to do that, especially with the prayer requests. Um, a lot of you guys have, you know, very uh, timely and needful prayer requests. I want everybody to see them. I think everybody could see them in the comments anyhow, but I want to highlight them. And, and many of you just saying awesome, encouraging words at time and time again. I want to put that up on display. Amy, God bless you. Chris Hartman, Faith Like Mustard Seed, released a video today. She saw Shiba Inu at 80 cents. Yes. Won't God do it? Amen. Amen. Flesh, Casey, Anthony, you're going to die to yourself, not give your fleshly into your flesh and its worldly desire. See God before everything, your life. Amen. Amen. Glorious P. God bless you, Ebony. God bless you. Amen. Jeff, God bless you. Thank you for coming on. Casey, thank you, Greg. Yes, you're very welcome. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's him. Chris loves Christ. Hello. All right, guys. You know what? Let's just, let's get into some prayer requests. If anybody has prayer requests, I want to pray with you all right now. Um, I'm just going to pause for one second and I'm going to, I'm going to go over, um, my schedule with you guys. Um, if anybody wants to write this out, I'm going to try to hold, it's also trial and error for me, but I'm going to try not nothing with the Lord is trial and error, but my schedule, it might be a little bit of a trying season. So uh, I'm going to try to hold to this. If, if there's some reason I can't, I, I'm going to inform you guys. And thank, thank God, I'm so thankful for the Telegram group. Um, but we're looking at, and this is going to start next week. Um, on Mondays, I'm going to do a live. This is Central Time at 10 a.m. on Mondays. Tuesdays. I'm going to do 2 p.m. I'm going to try to do morning and afternoon. I want to be able to reach different people. Some people at work, some people are not at work. Everybody has busy schedules. That's I'm, Throughout the week, I'm going to alternate um, these two times. So Monday, we're going to come on at 10 a.m. Central Time. That would be 11 a.m. East Coast. West Coast, I think, is two hours behind me. Tuesdays, and this is going to be week to week. I'm going to, I'm going to try to hold this schedule. Fabulous girl. I see you on there. Cheryl, hello. God bless you. Um, Tuesdays, 2 p.m. Central Time. Wednesdays, 10 a.m. Central Time. These are for the lives. Thursday, 2 p.m. Central Time. And then Friday, I'm going to leave open. I'm going to try to do, starting out once a month, I'm going to try to do a nighttime live. We got people on the other side of the world. So Friday night's a little bit easier because 
during the weekdays, I'm getting up at 4 a.m. to pray, study. Um, so I, I, I try, I, God willing, I try to get to bed at 10 o'clock at night or I have a rough day, if not. So um, I'm trying to see. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to do 9 p.m. tomorrow night. That'll be our first Friday. I'm going to try to do a live at 9 p.m. tomorrow night. You all got that? All right. And then back to Monday, 10 a.m., Tuesday 2, Thursday 10, and then Friday. I'll, I'll, I will announce Friday um, at some point to give you all a heads up, okay? All right. Let me get back here. Anthony, you are very welcome. Brother Dennis, hello. The Lord will tell you what coins to buy and how much went to sell and what your mission to do with that wealth. Dennis, amen. Yes, he will. He told us these coins to buy, and he's also given us some sell prices too. So, And he's going to continue to talk to us about it. Sandy, God bless you. Uh, uh, Terry Truth Seeker, they told my dad he was terminal a few months ago. I said, faith is a tiny as a mustard seed, and you can cast out a mountain into the ocean. He received the miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for healing Terry's father. And we pray complete recovery and blessing upon your dad and your family in Jesus' name. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Rick, you're welcome. JK, organic castor oil. Awesome. Good product there. Um, <clears throat> Starburst, hello. Amen, amen, Chris. Um, Truth, tru, uh, Terry, they were able to repair his abdominal aortic aneurysm. Previously was told it was not possible due to his heart condition. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Margaret, thank you. Coming in agreement with those prayers. Amen. <clears throat> amen. Amen. Barry, you're very welcome, Brother Barry. Kathy, Richie, howdy. Hello. God bless you. All right. Jeff, I feel the Holy Spirit always broke us. Amen. God is in this. God is in this. Praise God. Adriana, you're very welcome. We pray protection over the group. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, amen. I just want to read a couple more of these. Just seems any prayer requests, and then we're going to pray as a group again. Um, <clears throat> Chris says we pray for protection over our group, that, the, that we move together as one, protecting and working in Jesus' name. You know, that was the word I felt to share. Chris, you're in the spirit, but... You know, God, I, sometimes I put a word down and God always leads in a different direction. But I felt to speak on unity, just what Chris spoke. I love that when we're all in the spirit. Isn't that cool? God's got one mouth, right? Psalm 133. Behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down. The anointing flows down, the oil flows down from the head to the beard. The beard on Aaron running down to the edges of his garment. It's like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing. There is a blessing. The Lord commands a blessing in unity. Life forevermore. Praise God. Galatians 6, 2, which we will do in this church. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. We are going to bear each other's burdens and we are going to fulfill the law of Christ. James 2.8 says, if you really fulfill the royal law, James, James gives us the royal law. You all know what the royal law is? The royal law of the kingdom. You ready for it? You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And then he says, you do well. Praise God. Woo, so we will be unified. We will bear each other's burdens. We will love one another as Christ loved the church. Can't go wrong from that. The Bible says in love, you fulfill all of the law. All right, let me get back to some of these. Um, amen, amen, amen. All right. Psalms. Prayer for my granddaughter was told from my daughter that 
They saw a sickle cell trait in her blood. She's eight years old. Her name is Seven. Well, we're going to cast that thing right out of her blood right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We, Psalms, we lift up your granddaughter. We bind every sickle cell anemia in her blood in Jesus' name. And we cast it out in the name of Jesus. We bind every spirit of infirmity, sickness, and disease in your granddaughter in Jesus' name. And we cast it out. We speak the healing virtue of God over her body, every cell in her body, the blood in her body. We command to be clean, healed, and restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Anthony, it's that time, Texas time. I'm UK. Oh, wow. All right. Guys, we just hit a confirmation on technical analysis for long daily chart. Signals a big uptrend. Grant, thank you for that word on Lunk. Is it starting to move yet? All right, we're down. Yeah. Hopefully it'll start moving. But thank you for that warning. Uh, Ryan, brother Ryan, join me in praying for my friend on hospice with lung cancer. Ryan, absolutely. Ryan, we lift up your friend right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind the lung cancer and every cancer cell in his body right now in Jesus' name, and we command him to be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. God, we bind the spirit of cancer and infirmity in his body right now in Jesus' name, and we loose the healing virtue of God upon him. We speak by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Ryan, your friend is healed in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. God bless you, Kathy. Who else? Who else on here? have more coins if they had listened to God and didn't try to trade back and forth chasing coins. Yeah, well, you know, Mike, we learn and we grow. And I'll tell you what, I, you know, I, I trade sometimes here and there, but the times that I listened to God for the coins that he gave me, I call it staying in your lane. Yes, I've always done better with those coins. Overflow Grace, am I the only one who gets commercials during the lot? Um yeah, so guys, I'm going to try to go over to the other. Uh, there's no commercials on the other one. There's commercials on here, so I apologize for that. I'm going to try to go onto the um, the stream yard. There'll just be commercials on the on the replay. Uh, Seven best is fine. If we could pray for my friend Usher uh, Usher Gary, he went to the hospital last night of experience in memory. Lost issues. They found the mass on his brain. I feel prompted. Okay. Yes, we definitely got to pray for Usher Gary. We lift up Usher Gary right now in Jesus' name. Father, we bind every 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 growth, every tumor. Lord, if there be any cancer cells, infirmity, we bind it in Jesus' name. In Gary's life, we cast it out, Lord. We lose the healing, your healing anointing upon Gary right now from his brain to every part of his body in Jesus' name. We bind and rebuke that mass on his brain in Jesus' name. We command it to shrink, to die, to shrivel up in Jesus' name. Woo! Praise God. Praise God. Um, Monique, just to confirm, Monday and Wednesday at 10 a.m.? Yes, Tuesday and Thursday, 2 p.m. This Friday, 9 p.m. Yes, Monique. KK, hello. Starburst X, I love Tangent. I'm under my real name there. Of course, I never thought that I would be a digital Christian or church goer. It, I spoke to uh, I spoke to me with his small, still small voice a couple of times. You're my official pastor. Starburst X, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, love the telegram. I'm under my real name. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Well, it's an honor. It's an honor to be your official pastor and anybody on here who claims so. It's an honor. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let me see that. Young, young fam, that's good. Perhaps prayer requests should be typed in all caps. Yeah, that would help. Amen, amen, amen. So I see people talking about this, uh, Cole Badger. What's your opinion on bad idea AI coin? That partner would ship. I heard it was running. I don't know. I just haven't had time to get into it. Um, so I'm saying I got a lot of commercials. Okay, guys, I'm, 
on on the stream yard there'll be no commercials i'm going to do my best to go on stream yard it's got a cooler background too and i like it more for the comments so like i said with stream yard I, I could at times randomly put your comment across the uh across the screen so everybody can read it loud and clear uh If you subscribe on the YouTube, there's no commercials. Okay, I'm not sure how that all works. Um, all right, all right. Chris loves Christ, you're my pastor. God bless you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sister Shannon, God bless you, welcome aboard. Vicer, like Starburst, you are officially my pastor. Oh, thank you, Vicer. Well, I humbly I humbly receive your kind words, everybody, and and, and that position of an under shepherd to help lead, help lead on this channel. Praise God, thank you. It's Britslets, where can I go to learn more about crypto and what to invest? Here, go on here, Telegram, we got a crypto section on Telegram. Guys, feel, feel happy to help people on there. I know you're already helping people on there. Some of you got some amazing knowledge and wisdom in crypto. Please put it in there. I'm asking you to put it in there. That's that's a blessing. That's that's sowing into the body. Thank you, thank you. Praise God. Elon Musk endorsed Dodge again. Is that why we had a, also a, a spike in SHIB last night? I saw. And usually when Dodge spikes, SHIB goes with it. That's probably what happened. We had a little spike there. So all right, guys, let's let's close in some prayer. Hey, Sergis, how are you? Great church here. Yes. Welcome to join. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ours day. Please pray for me. I want to experience crypto dream and vision. All right. Uh, Aris and Arisandi. Arisandi. I don't know if you're saying, if I'm saying your name right, but I pray for everybody on here. Lord, that you would give us crypto dreams, visions. Lord, where to invest? If there's anything else we should know, sell points, sell prices. Lord God vision, prophetic visions and dreams, and, and beyond crypto, Lord God, beyond crypto for placement, callings, destinies, warnings, Lord God. And however else you would speak to us, open up, open that up to us, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Glorious P, hello. I don't know if I said hello to you yet. I probably did. There is a clip of Elon Musk uh, riding a rocket with Dodge, uh, Dodge Dogs right on. Amen, amen. Arsena, you are very, very welcome. All right, guys, <clears throat> let's just let's just pray in the Holy Ghost. I want to pray over everybody right now. Lord, I just pray over everybody right now, their families. I'm going to be spirit-led right now, so I feel to pray for backsliders in your families and in your churches. I pray for backsliders to come home right now, Lord, that you would deal with them through visions, dreams, Reconnect them with some Christians that would love on them, teach them, and pray for them, that would love on them, love them all the way back to church in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord God, I pray for a special blessing of just a baptism of love upon each one of us. Love that casts out all fear, anxiety, and stress, that we would walk in perfect love. In the name of Jesus Christ, that we would love, we would love sinners, we would love saints, Father. I ask just for the, the gift of love, just so much love that we're able to give it out. That's what I believe the gift of love is like. The gift of faith is you have so much faith, you're giving it out. When you speak, people are, are, are receiving faith into their situations. Lord, may we do that with love in Jesus' name and faith. Lord, I ask that you would help us to operate in the gifts of the spirit that you cause us to grow in that. I pray for the spirit of discernment right now, Lord, discerning either whether it's human, things that we encounter, whether it's human, demonic, and angelic, or the Holy Spirit, Father. Sharpen that gift, expand it in us, especially as the spirit of deception is rising up in this hour, Lord, that we will just be laser focused, Father, upon you, knowing, Lord God, without a shadow of a doubt, decisions that we have to make, doors that we need to go through, doors that we do not need to go through, 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, I, matter of fact, I pray that you will shut every door in our lives that needs to be shut right now in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that the, there are open doors for many of us right now that you will help us to discern and give us wisdom from above to go through those doors that you've ordained for us right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you for what you're doing in this hour, Lord. We give you glory, praise, and honor. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. I ask for the oil of joy to come upon everybody that's on here right now and in their families. That our homes, our families, marriages, place of work would just be a place of joy and peace, Lord God. I ask that you send hope into our hearts right now. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, Lord. Hope is so important for us. And you are the God of all hope, Lord God. So bless us with hope right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Those that are sick in the body, I speak healing over them right now in Jesus' name. For broken relationships, damaged relationships, I speak restoration in all, in all relationships, in life and healing in relationships right now in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Those of us that are going through financial hardship right now, Father, I pray your blessing of finances upon us right now, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, we ask that you breathe upon Shiba Inu and Luna Classic, BB Tiger, XLM right now in Jesus' name. Breathe upon them, Lord God. As one goes up, here's the game plan, guys, not financial advice. As one goes up, we're going to put it into the other coin. If XLM goes up before XRP, guess what? We'll, we'll fill up our bags with XRP. If Shiba goes before Luna, we're going to take some of those profits and build up our Luna bags. If Luna goes before Sheba, that's the game I'm going to play. All right? Praise be to God. All right, y'all. Love y'all. I'm going to try to pop on a couple of times a day into Telegram too, so I'll see you on there a little bit later. Thank you, guys. You are a blessing. I thank God for the body of Christ. I thank God for this church. Let's continue to pray for each other. In Jesus' name. Praise God, KK. I really need clarity which door to go through. It's coming. Clarity's coming. It's already been released in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Adrian, thank you. Thank you for sowing. Thank you. Thank you for sowing into this channel. God bless you. God bless you. I pray those that sowed, God's going to bless you a hundredfold in return, especially as God is getting this thing off the ground. We're all on this at the ground level. So God is using each one of us in various ways. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise God. Yes, <clears throat> guys, so um, I presented this to my pastor yesterday. Our Bible study night is Wednesday night. And he laid hands on us and and pr prayed his blessing over this. And he he gave us instruction that my wife needs to come on here. So she will be coming on here. She's trying to get a word, something short, sweet. She's going to introduce herself. All right. But thank you for that, Heather, because I'm going to go back and say that to her because that's another confirmation. Amen. Chris, awesome, awesome. All right. <clears throat> Love you all. And uh, hope to see somebody in the Telegram. And God bless you. Have a blessed day in the name of Jesus. All right, guys. Bye.